I am not nervous at all. Okay, here we go. Hi there, RC Girl here. Today we're back with the first from my channel, my first ever EDF jet. This is the Habu STS 70 millimeter EDF jet. This is the ready to fly version, so it comes with absolutely everything you need to get you up in the air, including real flight trainer edition. So you can practice on the simulator before taking to the skies. Folks have been asking me to try an EDF jet for a long time. I didn't think I was ready, but the Habu was designed specifically for the beginner pilot in mind. So if you're looking for a non-traditional trainer, this might be a good option for you to consider. It comes ready to fly or plug and play. Today, we're gonna unbox it, talk about the features, and then we're gonna take it for its first flight. Typically on a maiden, I'll have someone take it up before me and trim it out. But for this one, I'm gonna try and maiden it myself. So stay tuned. We am flying! Frick! Oh my gosh, this is freaking awesome! <laughs> so if you're new to my channel, welcome. Here you're gonna find RC reviews, tips and tricks, run videos, flight videos, and other things related to RC. So if you guys wanna see more, make sure to like and subscribe. Also head over to my Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. I do a lot of behind the scenes stuff there. So between videos, make sure to check that out. All right the Habu 70 millimeter EDF jet. So excited to try my first EDF jet. I consider myself a beginner immediate pilot. I have a lot of experience with Horizons high wing models, just started flying warbirds. I am stuck in safe mode. I know I need to get out of it. I think this is gonna be a good test case to show you that you don't have to have a ton of experience to fly your first EDF jet. EDF stands for electric ducted fan. So instead of a propeller, it has a fan that pulls air through the ducts in the side of the plane. Instead of being measured by their wingspan, EDF jets are measured by the size of the fan. So 70 millimeters for the Habu. EDF jets are not typically known for being very beginner friendly. However, Horizon Hobby designed this specifically as a trainer for the beginner pilot. So it features their safe technology. It has beginner, intermediate, and experienced flight modes. In the beginner mode, it's gonna have pitch and bank angle limitations. You're not gonna be able to roll the plane. It also self levels the wings for you. So when you let go of the sticks, it'll bring you to level flight. Intermediate mode, you're gonna get a little bit more control. You still can't roll the plane. You can make tighter turns and it's not gonna self level the wings for you. So it's definitely gonna be a step up in progression. Also super cool in beginner or intermediate flight, it has a barometer. So if you are pitching down to the ground at about 30 or 40 feet, it's gonna level out the plane for you, hopefully preventing any crashes. In experience mode, this model is also gonna be fun for more experienced pilots. You're gonna get full control. It also has AS3X stabilization. So it's gonna correct for those fine movements in the air. Altogether, this is gonna be a really great model to progress your skills with. In beginner and intermediate modes, it also adds a little up elevator as you throttle up. This is gonna help you with taking off. Also really great, it has a panic recovery button. So you can either flip it into safe or press the panic recovery. If you lose orientation, it'll level it out for you. It also has tricycle landing gear with big tires. So it's gonna be nice and maneuverable on the runway and a little bit forgiving if you have some harder landings. It can also take off on dirt or grass. The runway that I fly at is notoriously bumpy. So hopefully it'll do just fine there. Our ESC is a Spectrum 3230B. This is a three and four S capable speed control. I got both options. I have a couple 3S batteries and a couple 4S to try. The ready to fly version comes with the Spectrum 3S 4000 milliamp LiPo battery. I also have a few 4S batteries to try as well. I think if you're just starting out, 3S power is probably gonna be the route that you wanna go, but more experienced pilots are gonna have a ton of fun with this model on 4S. It comes with a really cool USB charger. This is the first time I've seen this. This is the S120 USB-C smart charger. You can charge off most USB power sources. Super cool, take this out on the field, you can plug it into your car, plug it into your computer, charge your batteries in the field really easily. If you're flying on 4S batteries though, you're gonna need a separate charger. I have the Spectrum S2200. It can charge two batteries at once, has two ports. All you have to do is plug in your batteries. It'll do the rest for you, charging them at a safe speed. Your battery goes in here, the hatch pops off with a little pin, you just press it down. 
The ready to fly version also comes with the receiver transmitter. This is my first time trying one of these. This is the DXS transmitter. The DXS actually has some really cool features. So paired with the smart ESC and battery, you're gonna get battery telemetry data. There's a battery meter indicator light on the transmitter. So there's four green lights. Each one is around 25% power. When your battery's getting low, it's gonna give you an audio alert alerting you to land. The assembly was super easy. No glue is required at all. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver. Most of the pieces are assembled for you. I really like these servo quick connects. Makes it super easy. You don't have to figure out what plugs into what. It's gonna get you in the air really quick. Awaken the habu. That's freaking cool. And of course, I had to do the thing where you do the EDF blow dryer. <laughs> kind of fun. The ready to fly version also comes with a spectrum dongle that's gonna allow you to use a trainer version of the real flight simulator. So you could fly this actual model in the simulator before ever taking to the skies. You can use the beginner, intermediate, and experienced flight modes and also practice your takeoffs and landings as many times as you want. Here you can also see if you pitch down, it's going to level out the plane. I think this is a really freaking great landing if I say so myself. Now we're gonna try experience mode and you're gonna get full controls. I might need a little bit more time in experience mode. But if you crash, just hit the space bar and you can reset as many times as you want. So before we kick this off, I wanna say a huge, huge thank you to our sponsor for this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people like you and me. As with the videos on my channel, you know I'm trying to encourage you guys to try new things. I like trying new things like this EDF jet. Skillshare makes it really easy to turn your curiosity into a new skill with classes on topics including photography, 3D printing, drone flying and aerial videography to logo and web design. And I'm just scratching the surface with all the classes that they offer. I recently took a class on learning Premiere Pro and editing a how-to video for beginners by Helise Neves. While I've been using Premiere for a bit now, I was self-taught, so I really wanted to get the basics right. This class broke it down from the Premiere interface all the way to exporting your first video. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first 1,000 people to sign up using my link in the description box below are gonna get a free trial membership of Skillshare Premium. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now back to the Habu EDF Jet. All right, today we're gonna do the Maiden. It's a little bit more windy than I would like for a Maiden, especially for a jet that I've never flown before, but it's coming right down the runway. So we're gonna take off into the wind. We're gonna start on 3S. If you're running a 4,000 milliamp 3S battery, you're gonna to wanna to slide it all the way forward to get the center of gravity correct. Got our transmitter turned on. Does a little tail wag. All right, this runway is so, so bumpy, but with our tricycle landing gear, hopefully we're gonna be okay. I'm actually gonna try the one-handed takeoff. So you just throttle all the way up and it should add a little up elevator. It should take off on its own. A little gusty, so definitely if this is your first time, try a nice calm day. A storm just came through here, so we're gonna do our best. All right, let's take it up. I know I'm nervous. <laughs> I am not nervous at all. Okay, here we go. Nice. We am flying. Frick. Oh my gosh, this is freaking awesome. <laughs> All right, so I'm flying at full throttle, so I can definitely see you're gonna want 4S for sure. I'm gonna want at least. 
I know I'm pretty high, sorry. Whee, or I'm gonna bring it down. Okay, I'm about half throttle here. Nice. All right, well, I'm doing it. This is awesome. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try a dead stick it here. All right. It's gonna take a little speed to get it back up to, a little throttle to get it back up to speed. Doesn't really need any trimming actually. Nice. It's doing like some circle pattern flying. Bring it a little lower. It's cool. Sounds cool. Nice. Getting some turns in there. Okay, we got a gust of wind coming through here, so we'll turn into the wind. You can see if you go with the wind, it definitely picks up speed. So we're gonna try and line up for landings. There we go. Feeling better about that. So we're dead stick here. We're just gonna glide it in. Gonna have to flare at the end. Okay, still too high. I'm trying. There we go. Okay, add a little, maybe add a little throttle at the end. Give it a little flare. Nice. Okay, we're gonna put it back in experience mode so we have a little more control on the runway and we're gonna run into the grass. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, my palms are like a little bit sweaty. It's just, I think it's totally great to fly. I felt super comfortable. It's just windy today, so I'm getting jostled around, but I feel like I need a bigger park too. Like Sky Park is not quite big enough for this plane. Um, but 3S, definitely flying around with like mostly full throttle. Um, and it is a little bit windy now, it's super gusty. So but yeah, it's super fun. I landed it and it's in one piece. <laughs> I went in the grass, oops. All right, it's pretty good. 4S3200 is going to be a little bit more heavy, so we're going to recheck the center of gravity. And when I landed last time, I was on one light indicator. I didn't get a verbal warning, so I wasn't at the cutoff, but I was reaching when I needed to land. It's probably about five minutes or so. Throttle kill off. Oh yeah, feels definitely a lot more punch. Yeah, it feels a lot more responsive. Okay, take it pretty far on the runway to give us some space. Seems like it sort of took off just past me on the runway. So I think that's pretty good. I had to use a little rudder to keep it straight on the runway as well. So we're gonna put it back into beginner mode. And burr. All right, let's go. Here we go. Nice, I added a little up elevator. Definitely feels faster. Nice. Bank and yank. About, uh, I don't know, half throttle or so. Feels a lot better. I don't like flying at full throttle. We're gusty. AS3X is so nice right now. Wow. All right, big gust coming through. I'm gonna make a turn. 
I feel a lot more comfortable on 4S. Mountain Mike's like, you're gonna want 4S. And I was like, no, I want 3S. But he was right. All right, bank and yank again. Getting kicked around by the wind. But as long as you expect it, you can control it a little bit. Throttling down into that final descent. Feeling pretty good about this. We're still a little bit too high. It's pretty windy, so still got a lot of air movement over the control surfaces. We're gonna take it around again. One and out, roundabout. Dead stick here. Nice. Of course, the wind picks up. So you can see the plane sort of pick up there. <laughs> it's so freaking windy, it's like, oh boy. It's like a helicopter. I mean, <laughs> for like being super windy, like look at my hair, this is crazy. Don't do this on your first flight. Um, yeah, it came in so, so slow, super, super gentle in beginner mode. I'm on uh, three battery ticks here. Fun. I'm gonna wait for a more calm day and try our intermediate mode, which doesn't do the auto wing leveling. So that's a step up. You're gonna get a little bit more control. You can do some tighter turns. Really great, super fun. Gentle, gentle jet. I think any other jet would have uh, crashed straight into the ground there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you to Horizon Hobby for sending out the Habu to try out my channel, my first ever EDF jet. I survived, I could fly it, so awesome. We got a car that's gonna run over my jet on the runway. I'm gonna go get it. Thank you to our sponsor for this video, Skillshare. Make sure to check them out with my link in the description box below. Huge, huge thank you to my patrons on Patreon, especially our newest patron, Ted Vanderlinden. Thank you so much. What is it? Want it? Pick it up. What is it? I also make and sell these Gone Flying stickers, perfect for a transmitter case. I'll put a link to them in my Etsy. It really helps to support my channel. As always, make sure to like and subscribe, or see you later.